Hey, welcome back to another video. This time I'm going to scrapbook this photograph. It is of my niece, Jocelyn. Her nickname's Lola. This is when she was much younger. And if you haven't seen my videos before, real quick, I'm going to show you what I'm trying to use or will attempt to use while I'm scrapbooking. I did have this little strip of yellow hearts, which I really liked. I think I actually used half of it in my other video. I don't know how half of it ended up here on this paper kit and then the other half ended up in the other paper kit. I am going to try and use this strip. I do have some puffy stickers from Pebbles that I acquired at Tuesday morning at some point and then these glittery sparkly hearts also from Tuesday morning. A chipboard set that I also acquired from Tuesday morning. <laughs> that was my favorite place. Now all of the as far as I heard, all of the Tuesday mornings in Colorado will be closed down. So sadly, I will no longer have a Tuesday morning. I do have the papers picked out already because I did make page kits for these. And I am going to use this mermaid scale piece of paper to back my photo. I have this one and I'm probably going to use this as a border paper uh, or like a frame. This is going to be the main back pattern paper for the background. And I don't want to show too much of that mermaid scale one. Um, so it's I'm probably going to frame it like this um, with that green paper. I might add another white one just to give it a small sliver of a frame. And then I'm hoping to either use mm, these letters to either say, it's not going to say Lola because I just no Jocelyn. I might be able to do Jocelyn, <laughs> but if not, I can do art because she did create something um, and she's holding it in the photograph. I'm sorry for the, for the glare, but um, so anyway, let's go ahead and get started. You're going to, you're going to join in? Huh? Huh? Thanks. Thanks, LJ. Thanks, LJ. You, you're going to insist? You're going to insist? Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna insist that you come up here? Do you have to have a? Yeah, yeah. You gonna get down? Or are you gonna? Oh, who's up, Julia? Del J. Who's up, Julia? Del J. Yeah. Alrighty. Are we done? Are you done? I don't think so. I doubt it, huh? I doubt it, huh? Okay. Thanks for visiting. Now I'm gonna do this layer. Well, I hope you enjoyed those cat clips <laughs> that I put in of our one of our cats, L J. He's the one that approaches me the more than the other one. The other one's still really skittish even after having uh, them for almost a year now. Um, he really warmed up to everyone, I think, more than uh, Lizzie did. So here I um, edged, inked uh, the edge of the green pattern paper, and I also put this very texturized pink uh, torn um, paper to the right hand side of my layout and I turned it around so that I could line it up a lot easier for myself and then I am adding all of these little paper layers that came from either scraps or mainly I think it's the cut up hearts that come along with this collection from Chamel. I have a lot of this collection still and so I am really trying to keep all of the collection together until I feel like I've used enough of it or played with it enough that I can either put all the Chamel stuff together or um, uh, like de-kitify this collection and be able to use it randomly. I still do pick up uh, things randomly from collections and use them individually if I can or wherever I want to. I'm not limited by just using the collection as is. Um, I kind of dabble back and forth but for the most part I'm still keeping them together if anyone was interested for that <laughs> with that information. Um, I did use the mermaid scale patterned holographic paper and during this time when I was scrapbooking, I really wanted to use all of these page strips. Um, I really find them challenging. And so I think that's the one of the things that helps me with my creating. Um, it keeps it um, challenging and also interesting for me. And then also it's just trying to use the every little bit kind of strips for me. Uh, sometimes I do bother with them and then sometimes I don't bother with them and then sometimes I just get overwhelmed with them and <laughs> just give them away. So um, 
but it's I go through phases and I use them with edge punches and I texturize them or sand them uh, decolage them and then I love to do this bit with the layering uh, of them around a photograph especially or even just by la layering different pieces of paper together to create dimension um, and interest on your page so here I got really finicky with one and I cut it in half and I was trying to glue the store together this didn't work out and then um, I really wanted to add them going across as much as I could around the photograph and so I did that and then I thought to myself wouldn't it be really neat if they had that star edge all around it because I kind of did it on, in an L shape and it would really bring a lot of focus towards the photograph and so I ended up doing that and then I switched from scissors to a craft knife and that really helped me a lot I feel like I have more control with a um craft knife and I also felt like it went a lot faster um even though the craft knife was kind of dangerous for me um I also just feel like I can maneuver that tool a lot more than scissors and I think those scissors are crooked too <laughs> so <laughs> even though I like the sharpness of them I do know that they're not a reliable a source to get something really straight and so I like fussy cutting with those scissors but not technically to get something straight so that's what I used and here I really liked the end result I really thought that it brought a lot of emphasis towards the photograph and it brings a lot of attention to those layers as well and so I left that mat um I figured that was enough layering for the photograph and I'm just trying to put all of these um pieces together I ended up cutting the words so crafty with that page that had all of those the alphabet and I ended up using letter stickers to spell out the words I am so together it reads hello I am so crafty on the page and I really thought that was fitting I love all the whimsical style of fonts that the uh, pattern paper gave with those let with that alphabet page and um, I really like how it all goes together and how she's so proud of displaying her piece of art um, <laughs> uh, in the photograph. And so I hope that Jocelyn really likes this photo. I hope she remembers the, this, this time in, in place with this photograph and um, that it brings a lot of whimsy and good feelings for her and her creations of... of um, that she did when she was with the Girl Scouts, I believe. I think she, that's when she did these. I didn't put in that dragonfly, but I almost wish I would have. I think it would have gone just right. I don't know the reasoning why as to why I didn't choose that and instead went for these mushrooms. But then I ended up adding um, a lot more things like these little hearts. Um, and then I end up trying to use some of these puffies. I really wanted to use, I think, the the puffy unicorn. I did try to put that banner behind the I am to bring more emphasis to those two little, those three little letter stickers. And I do end up um, doing that. You just don't see it on the video, but if you take a look at the close up of the photograph, you'll be able to see that I did end up using that little banner sticker behind those words. I tried to use that high sticker page too from that pebble sheet of stickers. And I'm really trying to use those up, but since I had already used the word hello with that cut apart, I didn't want to use another high. Um, I gave these a little fishtail for more definition, just to bring a little more whimsy instead of them just being regular blocks of uh, pages just ended there underneath the um, I'm so crafty words. I uh, wanted to give those words a little bit of a shelf so they're just that sitting in the air, and that was my reasoning for putting those pieces there. And giving them a fish fishtail banner just uh, brings a little more of that whimsy to the page. Here I am trying to use some of the more some more of those elements on the page, and so the puffy stickers um, add a really cute touch. There's that polka dot piece of sticker. Um, I do end up moving it, and then I kind of stagger these two banners for some. Uh, journaling for my sister I do add the date for her and I added a few more clear stickers and this hashtag girl squad 
puffy sticker next to the camera. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.